Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here, and this is Wander to Get Lost. Alright, so one of the valuable things that we're learning now with full-time RV life is that our holding tanks fill up very quick. We're trying to minimize filling up our gray water tanks by doing dishes on the outside and you know, having the kids take out some outdoor showers. But one of the big things we realized is that you don't want to have to move your RV to the dump station because the park that we're at, there's no full hookups. You have to go to a dump station far away. So I finally went ahead and ordered from Amazon the Campco 28 gallon um, tote tank. So that's this guy right here. So. This video is gonna be an unboxing and then I'm actually gonna hook it up because our gray water tank is full and I'm gonna pretty much dump the gray water tank into this, drag it all the way down to the dump station and empty it out. All right, so should be a pretty easy video and hopefully you get to see now what is all included with this. Some of the reasons why I went with the 28 gallon tank as opposed to the smaller tanks and then uh, how easy hopefully it is to use because I've never used this. So hopefully everything goes really well. <laughs> all right, so thanks again for uh, all our new subscribers for tuning into our videos and for everybody who's been commenting and hitting the thumbs up. We're almost at 5,000, which is really awesome. Um, yeah, and we're here at this park for a few more days, maybe like five days. I think there and then uh, we'll be starting our journey south to Key West and hitting a bunch of uh, national parks on the way and doing some cool stuff so I hope you stick around and tune into those videos as well because I think it's gonna be really fun all right so let's get into unboxing everything that comes in this camp go um, tank tote all right let's go um, this is the 28 gallon one that I said has two huge wheels on the back the one thing that I did like and I actually saw a bunch of people here before I purchased this at the site it actually comes with a steel tow adapter so you can hook this up to the tank tote put it onto your hitch on the back of your car and drive it over to uh, the dump station so that's really cool you don't have to put it in the back of like we have a Jeep Wrangler I don't have to put it back in the trunk super simple and it comes with all of this equipment you see here um, 15 inch female to female rhino water hose for rinsing and gray water hookup a three foot sewer hose um, clear double bayonet elbow a clear elbow swivel bayonet four in one adapter uh, the steel toe adapter which I said a sewer hose storage caps and storage caps with lanyards and then it also has this uh, hook on the bottom um, for you know putting it on the ground and also which you could then hook on your RV ladder so it seems really cool as you can see here I guess I never thought I'd be excited about getting a poop tank uh, to tow behind my Jeep but yeah <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this uh, yeah and I think it's good in the fact that now we'll be able to maybe dump our tanks every couple of days and um, yeah not have to worry about moving the other thing, um, it has a built-in gate valve. It's basically like what you have on the bottom of your RV when you do your dump tanks. You pull that lever, it opens up the gate valve, and then all the crap comes out. <laughs> Alright, so let's open the box. Check it out. Toe hook adapter, can't go parts. Gray water hose, and then your three foot thingy. Alright, 
it, stop, please read. If any parts are missing or damaged, please call us directly. Do not go to the store. All right, cool. Put that off. Don't need that. All right, so the one cool thing I like is that sometimes you get these things and the wheels aren't attached. But this comes with pre-attached wheels. I appreciate that. One less thing you have to worry about. So here's the gate valve. Just like any other gate valve, it comes with the cap. So I guess that's for your easy dump. instructions and then it gives you a parts breakdown and everything that you need to know so so this is your rinse your uh, hose rinse connector and this is your flusher with backflow so you can you know hook that up right there And then you got these two caps to go fill in here, and this cap here. All right, so obviously, I'm going to bring this over to our tanks. I'm going to hook up the back here, and I'm going to fill it up. Pretty simple. And then obviously this will go to the dump station side. And I'm not going to need this right now. I might need it for here. Just to see. So we could do something like this. Good. And then I can run this uh, to my hookup. Let's go, uh, let's go fill this bad boy up. All right, so just always make sure that gate valve on the side is in the close position, your cap is on, you don't want anything spilling out. The other thing is, it doesn't have a level indicator, not that I've seen yet. So that's, I think, one of the, the bad things. So I guess I'll just fill it up with some stuff and I guess eventually I'll have to learn how many seconds to how many gallons will be filled. Kind of a pain. I guess I could buy something to put in like the little um, hose connector part, that would kind of like a bubble or something. But yeah, I think that's one of the um, downsides to this model. I guess it doesn't have, I don't know if any of the other ones do.
that's where I'm gonna leave it right now. Take this, I'm gonna go to the dump, dump it out. So this hooks underneath. Like so. And then I'm gonna put it on my hitch. Alright, we're gonna drive to the dump station. Alright, so the one thing that's a pain about this dump station here is that it's like in this cement thing, so it's not level with the ground. Um, so I have to decide if I'm just going to hook it off to the bottom and wheel it onto that thing and just dump it straight down because I don't know if the gate valve will work because it's going to be lower. Um, than the actual sewer cap hole because of the way the cement is. So I'll try that. Hopefully I don't fail at that. All right, here we go. Alright, so that wasn't that bad even with the uh, the way the sewer dump was. It's not horrible, but so I'm really impressed. You know, it's a very good simple design and it works. So I'm just gonna hook it back up, drive back to the campsite. All done. Give you a recap there. Woo! So we're uh, back from dumping it out. I'm going to see where I'm going to be able to hook it up onto our ladder and then we're going to need a bungee cord strap, but we can get that from the store. So basically because I have the bikes here, I have to go that high, but um, once we're flat towing the Jeep, I'll be able to uh, drop it down a little lower. So that's how you hook it on the ladder. That was pretty simple. Not a bad design. All right, so that was the unboxing and use of the Camco uh, tank tote, the 28 gallon version uh, that I purchased. They do have it in a bunch of other uh, sizes. Um, I'll link down to the Amazon link of the one I bought and then they're all their other ones I think they even go up to a 40 gallon one. This is huge. Um, this one pretty good and um, We checked our gray water levels test and we now dropped down to two-thirds full from um, full so I'll probably end up doing another run uh, tomorrow morning and then probably 
uh, we should be good till Friday where we're probably going to be moving to another site for the rest of the weekend and then I'll probably hit the dump station and just do a complete dump of the RV so but yeah um, I think it was 120 bucks around there 100 somewhere around there um, it's good money spent and it's definitely great because we don't have to move the RV um, to dump it out so we can just stay in one place and then if you're boondocking you can always throw this the back of your pickup or in the back of the Jeep I guess and um, I've seen where people get a macerator and just pump from the macerator into the tote and then take that then to a dump station so that's something I'm going to explore also when we start boondocking um, yeah that's all I got uh, if you like this video hit the thumbs up and thank you to all our new subscribers and everybody who's been watching the videos it's much appreciated have a great day and I will see you on the next video